what is up everyone how's it going and welcome back to get jacked here in arc survival evolved now as you can see i'm wearing some pretty basic clothing i think it's pretty comfortable because we're gonna be going out and we're gonna be fishing so you know i had to wear the cloth it's nice and cool so we're gonna be going out and we're gonna test out the new fishing mechanic that they just added into arc I think I've been playing around with it a little bit and I think it's really awesome. It's a nice way for low level characters or uh, I don't know just anyone to get basic resources, basic high level resources, you know what I'm saying? So you know you can go out and you can kill rhinos for their rhino horns or you can go and get uh, you know the black pearls from the bottom of the ocean or you can fish and you can kind of gather them really slowly now you get one at a time usually for some of these we're just gonna make our way over here to the quetzal that i've built for fishing this is my quetzal fishing trawler i thought it, i thought it would be a good idea so we've got this all set up where, where are we at okay so i've got benches now these are what you need you need a fishing rod which i've got and <laughs> you need a bench and you need bait of course so the two baits that you can use let me get into the inventory of the quetzal are sap which is gathered with the um, what is that thing called tree sap tap is I believe what it's called so that's what you actually get all the sap from and then the leech blood obviously is from killing leeches and infected leeches and so I've stocked up on quite a few of those this is just like extra stuff so I've got all that and that's basically what you use for fishing it doesn't take too much each cast takes one bait and you know you, you catch a fish after quite a bit of time so as you can see they've also this is not a mod I don't have any mods or anything on my server little bit glitchy but this is the stone staircase that they added in the spiral staircase so there's a wood and metal variant of these as well so I think they're really cool they you still have to leave two opening or a two wide opening to allow them to let you up so you've got that um, I just threw a couple pieces of glass you know when you're fishing you want to be able to see what's going on down there I've got a little storage area right here where I can put our stuff and then our little bed which we've got a, oh I don't want to do that. Get out of this. <laughs> Which we've got a little window at. So, I think it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun to build this little thing out of the Quetzal because I'm really excited to go and test this out, see if we can actually use this guy to fly to pretty sweet parts of the river. Now, I do know quite a few good fishing spots just from being, I you know, I spent a lot of time down in the river areas, and that's where most of the good fishing is in the game. So, I'm going to head down that way. I'll show you where we're going to be for all that, and we'll test out this sweet mechanic. All right, so here we are. I've come to the first location that I'm going to show you. Now, this is a spot where there's a lot of coelacanth. Um, so there's going to be a lot of those. Not a lot of saber tooth salmon or piranha here. But the next place I'll take you all to will have a lot more of those. So anyway, this is a spot that I've always, you know, just known that there's a lot of fish at. So I came over here. Oh, we got a turtle swimming underneath us. And I saw a ton a second ago. So I'm going to search for those now. Unfortunately, I had to set up a raft here with um, some benches on it because... Wait, i got to put one more bench down. Let's put this down. <laughs> because you can't fish off of the Quetzal. I even put them on the rock right in the middle of the river. And the mechanic just doesn't let you use the bench and fish at the same time while on a Quetzal. So I had to just improvise and go with a raft. So it's not as fancy, but it works really well because I've been testing it out. And I really like what uh, what I'm starting to see here. You get a lot of good loot, and it's, it's pretty exciting. Well, I mean, not that exciting, but it's new. And it's kind of... It takes a lot longer. Now, the wiki says it should take, like... 30 seconds to a, a minute to catch a fish. I found that it takes a lot longer. Check this guy out. Come here. Come eat it right away. Prove me wrong. Eat it. Nah, they take forever. Um, it's I, I found that it takes probably about five minutes or so for each fish. Now, the, the baits. For sap, you can only catch the coal. So you can only catch coal if you're using sap because, I mean, that's a lot easier to gather. Now, the uh, blood, the leech blood, which is a bit more difficult to gather, is what you have to use to catch saber tooth salmon and your... What's the other one? The piranhas, of course. So you can catch... Those are the three you can catch, and you can only catch these with sap. So I'm using leech blood right now. I have caught a bunch of saber tooth salmon and a bunch of piranha, and it's been really fun. Like, I mean, it's taken quite a bit of time. I've kind of gone up and down a few of the rivers, so it's been pretty cool. So this spot here, I'll show you in a second. 
Okay, we got one on the line. So basically, they're gonna swim at you really quickly. You can tell when they're coming, so you you can be prepared. And then you just have to hit the keys. What do we got here? I hate when it's the double. It should there shouldn't be a double. Okay, so we got a blueprint. See, okay, I'll show you the loot that we're gonna get ahead of time in the next little thing, and you'll see where we're gonna get them from. Because I'm gonna cut that all up and edit it so that you just see the loot that I catch from them because otherwise the fishing takes a really long time and there's no point in just sitting around and watching that so things that I have gotten so far and you'll see what I get these from oh we actually just got another gas mask one now this is fr okay number one the ga these gas mask ones ridiculous look at the polymer costs right now are you serious what is it what's the point of even having a better gas mask it has better durability I mean, actually that is pretty good, but that's so expensive. I got another one right here, and that one's 843, which is crazy. So these fish just have blueprints on them. I guess someone like tied it to the fish's scales or something. But <laughs> we've got a Casteroids, a you know beaver saddle. We get absorb. I've only got one absorbent substrate from all the fish. I actually did get a blueprint here for a better fishing rod. So look at instead of Com whatever would be there normally we've got effectiveness now this makes it just better all over you know you're gonna catch fish faster and that kind of stuff it didn't seem to shorten the time that it takes to catch them so that seems to say stay the same so I've also got sap as a reward so you actually get the the bait from these guys as well so uh, gas mask apprentice for this one is really good look at the durability and the armor really good this one's I'm pretty happy about that. So, other than that, you just kind of get a bunch of random resources, like I just just got this chitin one. But this is a really cool way to actually get things like black pearls or rhino horns, if you don't want to actually go around killing things all the time, because you don't need to... Oh, we're getting some lag. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, man. World save. World save, sorry. Oh, whew. okay. We're, we're okay. So, I'm going to cast this out again. We're going to oh, hit that dimorph. Um, but we're gonna cast this out see what else I can catch. I'm gonna stick around this area a bit more We're gonna catch some more fish see what the rewards are and then I'll go into the segment where uh, I show you where I catch all of the ones You know that I've already caught and got all this loot from so you'll see that uh, the saber tooth salmon gives some pretty good rewards now there is something else that I wanted to point out and that's the fact that there's a bar I don't know if we saw it Okay, all right, so we got one. So what I wanted to show you, I was just waiting till we caught a fish because there's. I'll, I'll just show you where it's at. So we'll go catch this guy real quick. He's a little guy. So it says quality, 1.111. So he's a low-level one. I've caught some of the uh, salmon and stuff at quantity, like, 2.5. So they give some better loot depending on that. Now, I'm not sure about it because I've seen, I've had some of the salmon I caught were, like, two qual or quantity or quality sorry and they only gave meat so I'm not sure I'm not sure how that works if the higher the number the worse it is I'm not sure but I've gotten meat from some over two and then I've gotten like super good blueprints from ones like around one so I'm not sure how that works uh, obviously you're gonna catch a lot of or get a lot of meat with this a lot of the bigger ones will give you prime as well so oh, oh there is a prawn over here so we can actually try and catch this guy it's it's probably gonna take a while anyway so I'm gonna catch a bunch of fish I'll kind of put them all together so we don't have to go through all the you know this part <laughs> process and uh, I'll be right back at the end
Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that fishing. I tried to catch a couple of each of them. They didn't seem to, n none of them were more difficult than the other ones, you know, like the prana weren't any more difficult to catch than the coal. But it is going to be a little bit more difficult to find those things. But you could definitely draw in piranha by just jumping into the water and they'll all swim towards you and then you can actually fish for them once they've unaggroed. Um, but that's pretty cool. I like the fishing mechanic. I think it's pretty awesome. The ability to get blueprints without having to fly around the map and actually catch you know, all of the loot crates that are dropping from the sky. I think it's a pretty cool alternative to people who like, you know, kind of like a little bit of an AFK activity. But anyway, I think it's cool. I wanted to show you also a couple places in the north that are really good for catching fish. So the place I showed you in the kind of in that little montage was around 50 50 it was that river stretch right there that i did all of that fishing uh the first spot of course was down around where was that spot i'm trying to think of the actual location 80 50 down around there but any of those rivers down there are filled with saber two salmon and piranha and whatnot now the north is a little bit more scarce because you have to i don't know the river over to our east or sorry west in the tundra that's a really dangerous part of the river there are gigas and stuff that'll kill you when you're in the water so i don't know if you're looking for just some coal or a place to start out and just get those blueprints and stuff this is a really good spot it's marked on the map it's just that little dot right below the me right there so this is the spot there are tons of coal that are always spawning in here this is actually where i'm going to set up my little fishing base and I think that should be pretty cool. Is my gamma up? I don't know what's going on here. It looks a little bit weird. Oh, but well, we'll just hop down here. Now, another spot in the north. If someone hasn't built there, like I have, <laughs> and I can't fish here, unfortunately. But the Hidden Lake is a super good spot. Now, this spot's going to have piranha and, you know, your, your coal, obviously. So, it'll have all that. So basically, this is going to be a super good fishing spot if you don't have pillars everywhere. Now, I don't have anything in here, nothing at all, because this is a pretty big build. But anyway, I thought it was pretty fun to go out and fish. Now, it's, it's something that I definitely like to do more of. And I will definitely do another video or something on fishing with just more of the loot and something like that if people are interested in that. So definitely let me know in the comments if you like the fishing and want to see more of that because I'll be doing it. I might as well bring it here as well. So otherwise, uh, that's where I'm going to stop here for today. We're going to be checking out the new flying dinosaur here in the next video. Otherwise, you all have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you next time. Definitely drop a like if you like this one and or subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll see you later.